Are my captions broken? Oh, no. Okay, there we go. I fixed it. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Man. Weird. Um. Okay. Cool. All right, I'm an idiot. Okay, please work. Oh my god. <laughs> oh Christ, there we go. We're fine now. <sighs> Anyways. Hey guys. How we doing today? We are, um... Back to Sam and Max. In case you didn't notice. <laughs> um, happy Disability Pride Month to everybody. I know it's now 10 days into. Um, but I just haven't been able to stream lately. So. All right, I think we've got all of our notifications out and everything. Like, I think we're ready to go. This is this is what we doing today. How how is everyone? Again, I know I'm like ten days into this month, and I just haven't said anything I'm sorry for that like I said I've just been really busy and um, I'm planning a lot this month <laughs> this month and the beginning of next month are absolutely fucking nuts I've got I've got a lot going on <laughs> we'll just say it like that um, but yeah so Sam and Max uh, by the way, this is a message specifically for AK, so AK, if you're listening, we're playing Amnesia this week. We're playing Machine for Pigs. I know how much you love the horror games, so I wanted to let you know personally, uh, if you didn't see the announcement or anything. Oh, I forgot to post my, um... God, what's it called? My schedule. I forgot to post that on Twitter. <laughs> I forgot to post that on Twitter. Uh, also, let me fix my model capture real fast. He's a little... messed up right now. Is that working? No, that's not what I want. Hello! Oh my gosh, sorry, you like came in while I'm like messing with my model. That's, I think, that's, I think that, that'll work. Let, let me make sure. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Hi! It's nice to see you, Ollie. Now that I've got all my, um shit together. Oh, add. I need to put together like a, um... Like a thing. It, was that a pre-roll ad? Because I'm trying to get rid of pre-roll ads. But, um, I might have accidentally messed with one of my settings or something because Twitch has been, no offense to Twitch, really stupid right now. Or really stupid as of late. Okay, that's stupid, I'll fix that. Not right now, but I, I will, I will fix that. Um, so, how is everybody doing today? I'm going to apologize preemptively because I just got bangs 
And um, what that means is that my facial expressions are a little bit limited. <laughs> because, um, here, look. You can't see my eyebrows anymore. And now you can because I pulled them back. But yeah, you're going to get some of that today. Um, I'm going to have to, like, mess with my settings. Which is actually really funny. I'm not mad about that. Um, but yeah, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. So I'm going to have to mess with my settings. So I can make sure that you guys still get to see all his facial expressions. And that I can still, like, properly emote. But yeah, no, my bangs, like, kind of cover up my eyebrows. So my model's like, help, help, help. Help, what's going on? I don't know where your face is. My phone was doing that too, actually. Um, right after I got my haircut, I went to take a picture. And my phone was like, I'm sorry, but you need to put your phone, uh, not your phone, uh, your passcode in there. Because we don't know who you are. I'm just sitting there like, dude, I've had this phone for how long now? And it's just like, we don't know who you are because you have bangs. Like, really? Um, and people are t scared that technology is going to take over the world. My phone can't even identify who I am based off of my hair. And again, people are scared of, like, the technology, like, robot overlords. If you change your hair, you are a completely different person to them. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, anyways, um... I need to re-dye my hair now, though, which kind of sucks, because- because I have bangs. Um... I- I need to, like, re-dye it, because it, it was black and white, with all the front pieces being white, but now... Again, <laughs> that I have, um... The bangs, I need to, like, remake them... White. Maybe you change over the night, that might be it. Just a completely new person. Just... Nobody will ever see Kale again. I'm not actually Kale, I'm like... Mm, male. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at this, guys. I'm really good at this um, coming up with names on the spot thing. <laughs> now we will never know if you are you or someone else. Honestly, the real test is when I play a horror game, will I be scared by stupid shit again? Um, and you can find out- let's see what day it is. You can find out this Wednesday the 12th. In- in two days. You know, I've actually had, um, when I was playing Resident Evil Village, that was a long time ago before any of you, um, started watching. I was actually messaged, uh, by someone and they were like, they assumed that I had been faking all of my reactions to the game. Like, they, they assumed that I was just playing it up for the views because, like, I used to not get that scared when I was playing horror games and during this this game, I was just screaming. Like, I was actually terrified. And they, they um, and this is no hate. Like, if they, if they join and they're like, oh, they're talking about me. I, this is no hate. This is just a funny story. Um, I had to tell them, no, I wasn't playing up my reactions for the stream. I was genuinely fucking terrified. Um, cause like, here's the thing, when you're streaming, like when, when you're not super invested in the game, it's easy to not get scared by it. But like, when you're streaming the game and like, I don't know, that's like the whole the whole screen like you're not talking to anyone that that makes it scarier you know like you, you don't get somebody to sit there and be like lol lamau look how stupid that is um you're a, you're basically alone and and i was also streaming it in a completely dark room which made it fucking terrifying <laughs> and i felt so bad that i had to be like no no, you're wrong. I was just really scared. Um, and again, if they join and they're like, oh shit, like, he's talking about me, I seriously don't mind. I thought it was really funny. Um, 
I, I like I said, I, I really just don't mind. Um, but that was probably the funniest thing I have ever been accused of. Just, are you, are you faking it for the camera? No, I'm just a coward. So yeah, I thought that was, I thought that was funny. Anyways, um, <laughs> I actually, completely unrelated, um, I really want to play Mortuary Assistant, and actually, if you'll give me one second, I'm gonna turn away from my camera to put something away, so my, my model might freak the fuck out for a minute. He will get better, I promise. There we go. Um, uh, I really want to play Mortuary Assistant, and I know, like, the hype for that game kind of died down a little bit now, but I really want to play it. And, um, I don't know how much it cost. Let me, actually, let's go to Steam right now and see how much it costs. We'll start the fucking game when I want to. I just realized that my headphones weren't plugged in for my desktop audio that entire time. They're playing over my speakers. Sorry about that, if my mic just, like, freaked out. Um, Mortuary Assistant is a pretty decent game. I think it looks really fun. Um, and here's honestly the thing. Sorry, I'm trying to get my bangs out of my face. Here's the thing. Um, I feel like I like to be... I like to be annoying with myself, if that makes sense. Because I just can't do medical horror. It freaks me the fuck out. I don't like it. Um, but it's like super natural. And it's not really medical horror. It's like... It's a mortuary game. So... I don't know. I don't know if it would bother me that much. But it's it's $15 right now. So... Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll add it to my wish list. Um. Oh, my body is only in one headphone. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, it is on sale. It's on sale right now. Um, let me see what the special... So it's normally twenty five ninety or twenty five dollars. It is thirty three percent off for sixteen dollars. So it's normally twenty four ninety nine. It is now thirty three percent off. So sixteen seventy four. Um. If you, if I don't know, if you guys want to see me play the game, you could buy it for me. That's a joke. You don't actually have to. Anyways. So let's play, let's play this. Today we are playing episode three, The Mole, the Mob, and the Meatball. The commissioner is looking into an underground operation at Ted E. Bear's mafia-free playland and casino, but the mole he sent in has suddenly gone quiet. To find the mole, Sam and Max must infiltrate the operation and become members of the toy mafia themselves. My bangs are driving me nuts. You can't see me emote. Dude. <laughs> I'm gonna pull back my bang. That didn't really work. God damn it. VTube Studio, please let me emote. Oh my god. Why is it not... Maybe it's my lighting. It's probably my lighting. 
You know what, y'all? Listen to this smooth jazz. I'm gonna fix my light. Because I think that's honestly what's messing up more than my bangs. Okay. Can I emote now? Will will he let me like actually For some reason my default expression says I'm exp I'm, I'm surprised right now. <laughs> I'm going to say maybe that we have to recalibrate him. Yay! <laughs> I fixed my lighting and I pulled back my bangs. I worked. Yeah, that's nice. It's telling the truth because you're surprised that you're surprised. Exactly. Exactly. But, like, you can immediately see he's so much more expressive. <laughs> Alright. By the way, hi, Rad. Um, each episode does, in fact, get weirder and weirder. Um, I mean, I'm not going to click on it, but that is Abraham Lincoln. Alright, uh, I'm going to... We're gonna see what happens. Actually, why is that so loud? Hold on. Oh, that's why. That should not be... That should not be that loud. I don't know why it was at 100. A hand, everyone! Bessie Bovine... Re this much. Okay. So we had spilled the water on him. On the little bear. Hold a hayride, little pal. Shadier... Let's take it down. And then I think he hypnotizes everyone. Yep. Hold it. But that bear is good. Sit. Love. Okay, so hold on. I'm just trying to remember where we were. Uh, chapter select. Chapter six. Here we go. Okay, no, that that was right. Okay, okay, okay. Nope. And nope. Everyone. Nope. There we go. Okay, I remember now. Um. I just, for some reason, could not remember what, um, happened. But yeah, I remember we zoomed into the box at the end and it said the Toy Mafia. So that's where we are. I mean, I need to turn up the music, but I can't. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, groove with me, everyone. Oh yeah. Honestly, the music in this game is really good. And the funniest part about the music in this game, sorry is that um, you can listen to it outside of Sam and Max, too. Like, it's good enough to listen on its own. They're so cute. Um, why is my OBS doing that? There we go. Episode 3, The Mole, The Mob, and The Meatball. Hiya, Sam! Good news, Max. I think I just gave birth to a bouncing baby hernia. Higher! <gasps> I got it! I got it! Ow! <laughs> Hello. Yes, Commissioner? Holy cap wearing catfish flopping a crime beat. We're on our way. Did he get the notes I sent him? 
Yes, but he said to stop carving them into the suspects. He can't read them without his bifocals. What if I just write bigger? Forget that, Max. We're after the most infamous organized crime outfit in the city, the Toy Mafia. The cutthroat killers with no respect for human life but an odd predilection for delightful children's toys? The same. I love those guys! The Commissioner has reason to believe that the Toy Mafia's secret headquarters are located in the one place no one would ever suspect. Teddy Bear's Mafia-Free Playland and Casino. No the way. The shallowest place on Earth? Oh, boy! Well, it's not going to be all laughs and dyspepsia, little chum. It's a rescue op. The Commissioner sent an undercover mole to investigate, but he hasn't reported in weeks. Our job is to make contact with the mole and see if he needs help. Is he a large, star-shaped mole or more of a beauty mark? No idea, Max. I hope to he's find a him, literal We're mole. supposed to give the code phrase, does the carpet match the drapes? That's and what a little will he weird. say? He'll say, well, I never, then smack me across the face. Sounds great! Let's do this! I love getting him smacked. Also, hi, Tiny. Um, I don't know why the clown nose has not disappeared. Let's fix that. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why the clown nose was like, yes, I will stay. Anyways, hi, Tiny. How you doing today? Also, I noticed something. On this little sticky note, it says buy more pasties. And I don't know which one of us needs the pasties. But I'm not sure that I want to know. No, don't make me a permanent clown. No. You know, I was actually debating um, getting some like semi-permanent changes where you will redeem it and then it'll stay until somebody redeems it again. But then I was like, no, because I really like looking at Lil Kale. You know what I mean? Whee! Let's see what um, Bosco has. He usually has something pretty helpful. Oh my god, the king lives. Elvis? Hey, Bosco. Nice flapjack! Son of God and Blue, who is this Bosco? Hey guys, it's me, Bosco. No! But no! you may call me Jean-Francois Bandepart, the new A French anarchist. So, Bosco, why'd you get Frenchified? They saw right through my British disguise. I don't know how they did it, but they found me. Who? The Mafia. The Toy Mafia. They've got it in for me. Take a we number, got it guys. in for them. Yeah, what are they doing? What manner of nightmarish atrocities has the Toy Mafia committed against you? Nothing. Yet. Ah, but I know what they are planning. And it is terrible! Are they planning oh, no. to tie you down, tape your eyelids open, and turn on the 24-hour Midtown Cowboys channel? Well, not that bad. I have reason to believe they are planning to deliver <gasps> something to my store. Oh, no. It's actually funny, because we were just in Midtown Cowboys. Another delivery conspiracy? What could a band of ruthless toy mongers possibly want to put in here? I don't know. Uh, but it is no matter. They will never be able to deliver anything to my store. Well, my name is not Jean-Francois Bandepard. It's not. But your name's not Jean-Francois. <laughs> they don't know that. Once again, I love how Max and I always say the same thing. What's keeping the Toy Mafia from making a delivery? Well, for one, I am watching always. They will never sneak past me. Yeah, just like Wizzer couldn't sneak past you. And two. Even if they do get past me, I got a fail safe. It's the greatest invention the world has seen since b -tags. Oh, God. I call this must it be the good. Bosco Tech Anti-Delivery System. Oh, What's boy. What's the acronym for that? Uh, also b -tags. It is a b -tads Part D. Oh. Yeah, how does, how does it work? How does b Part D work? First is the Anti-Delivery Camera. It keeps a massive photo recognition database of every inconvenient item I store. Oh. How completely impractical! If anything is placed in the stores that the anti-delivery camera does not recognize, it is put out on the That'll streets. That'll be convenient. Vive la France! Okay. Does the carpet match the drapes? No. And you know why? Because the man does not want them to. He is threatened by their potential unification. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look, it's the Look Toy outside. Mafia. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? Fools, there is no one. 
Sorry, Bosco. Just yanking your chain, amigo. Sacre bleu! I could do this all day, and I intend to! I love how uh, Max just goes, <laughs> We want to buy something. Oui, right, what, oui, you monsieur. what have you got? What do you got? Oh la la! Behind the counter, I have the latest in Bosco tech innovation. A device non parello chocolate. Is that good? Oui, oui. What's with chocolate? This though? I call a miniature listening device. It can fit in any cravat, under any chapeau. What to do? It listens. You can use it to hear okay. secret conversations, no? That'll be helpful. No. I mean, yes. <laughs> no. no. I mean, yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bosco. We'll take that miniature listening device. As the price is $10 million. $10 million? Wait, is that $10 million in crazy fake French dollars or $10 million in regular dollars? Regular dollar. <laughs> the market is bearish on crazy fake French dollar. Okay. Nothing for us right now. Zut. All right. See you later, Bosco. I know not this Bosco of whom you speak, but if I see him, I shall beat him a reservoir. Nice. All right. Um. The anti-delivery camera. Do they just look at me the entire time? Max, what are you doing with the foamy bread? Ooh, fun! I like how it's it's inclusive to specifically Max. Like, not Sam. Specifically Max. Oh, there's a little camera in there. That's cute. Alright, I think... Um, actually, I want to see what the spill is. Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. Okay, so nothing nothing special. Alright. Um, right now, we can't do anything with that. So we can try and pull somebody over to get the million dollars. That works the first time. Actually, let's look at the tabloid box. I want to hear about rectangle Elvis. post. I had no idea there was such fierce competition among alien love polygon tabloids. <laughs> All right. Myra Stump shocks crowd with new hairstyle. Wow, talk about a slow day for news. I don't talk about the news, Sam. I make it. I'm sure. Whee! Whee! All right, let's go see what. Let's go see what my my favorite lady is up to. It looks like she's a lawyer now. Oh, there's still aliens here. There's still aliens. What's what's going on? Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. Hey, it's our favorite short attention span careerist. This time, I've found the job for me. I've become a professional trial witness. Oh. What exactly is a professional trial witness? Oh, it's great! We give dramatic testimonies, sequester in ritzy hotels, and order room service in the name of truth and justice. Of course. It almost sounds like you're enriching yourself at the expense of this country's overcomplicated legal system. Do you have a problem with that, Mr. Freelance Police? Yeah, why didn't we think of it? <laughs> All right. What led you to decide to become a professional witness? Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times taught me a lot about the truth, of you know? Course. The truth is far out there? Exactly. And then one day I got called for jury duty, and the rest is history. Beautiful history. What's your next career gonna be? Oh, there is no next career. I'm sticking with trial witnessing for good. Right. No, seriously. Any ideas about your next cockamamie profession? I resent that. Okay, fair enough. Do you have your first case yet? No, but I'm waiting for a call from the district attorney. He says he's got something I'd be perfect for. You don't feel uncomfortable getting a case first and then being a witness for it? Not at all. You see, the problem with most trials is that crimes are witnessed by someone who's unprepared for what's going to happen, or who doesn't have sufficient training or skills to accurately remember or relate what happened. With my background and widely varied skill set, 
I'm perfect, naturally. That makes sense. Should I be afraid? Probably. Does the carpet match the drapes? Interior decorating was like eight months ago. I'm a trial witness now. Isn't trial witnessing a trifle dangerous? Oh no, we're protected by the truth. Naturally. Okay, yeah. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one eye on the truth. Where's the other eye look? Where's the other eye go? Okay, yeah, pretty good. Nice cactus. Saguaro? I didn't, oh, okay. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. I clicked on the exit door. Witnessing. Oh god. Her sign is full, so maybe that is her last one. Alright, let's hop in the DeSoto. Where are we going, Sam? Uh okay, well, I guess Teddy we don't have a choice. Mafia free playland and casino. Let's go, Goody! baby. Goody. Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Ah! That face. My name's Lovey Bear. Boy, do we have some fun and games for you. Here, take this token amount of tokens as our way of saying welcome and go spend a lot of money. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Holy domesticated ursins, Max. Lovey Bear here's got the same head as that hypnotic teddy bear from Myra's talk show. You think that little talk show bear had a litter of giant babies? <laughs> I don't know, Max. Call it canine intuition, but I think our mole discovered something about these teddy bears he shouldn't have. We've got to find him and get to the bottom of this. You're lucky this mask doesn't have ear holes, or I might have heard that secret conversation oh you God, just had right eyes. in front of me. They just what? roll around. Sorry, I wasn't listening. You give tokens to first-time customers? That's right. Go on, enjoy. Go Live on. A little. It just seems like bad business sense. Okay, tell you what. 13 hours from now, when you're trying to pawn your little friend here to pay off the vig, we can talk then about bad business sense. Oh. Okay, we'll come back then. <laughs> I hear you have a mole problem. Hey, it's a genetic condition. You should have seen my father's back. Holy cow, I'm actually being too subtle. First time that's ever happened. Maybe I should just stick to the code phrase. Does the carpet match the drapes? If Don Ted E. Bear says so, they do. Don Teddy Bear? I thought this place was mafia free. That's right, kiddies. 100% mafia free. No mafia anyways. Come on, True. Huh, okay. We're looking for somebody who works here. A mole. Look. I just greet the guests. You want to know who works here? Talk to Don Ted E. Bear. He's in charge. Where's the Don? He's got, uh, business in the back room. Okay. You know what I mean? What kind of business? You know what I mean? No. Yeah. The kind of business that gets said like it's got quote marks around it. So's you know not to ask. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Thanks, Lovey Bear. Enjoy. And remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. I'm gonna pretend like that makes sense. Disturbing bear heads. Honestly, I loved how when these first came on, it looked like Max was like, <gasps> Amazing. Whack the rat. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head. Cause a mistrial and win a souvenir magnet. Oh. 
Okay, sure. I like souvenir magnets. Look, Max, it's a beloved carnival game with a delightful mobster twist. What better way to relax than by offing fake rodents in the most violent way imaginable? Well, it could no. be worse. Please supply your own firearm. We have a firearm. We always do. Insert token to play. Okay. Let's, uh, let's play. Let's give this a shot. <laughs> I'm in pain. I'm in pain. These rats are gonna pop up, see? If the rat's keeping his mouth shut, you don't touch him. But if that rat's singing, you put a bullet in his head, capiche? Now have fun. How can we not? Okay, I gotta pull out my gun. Oh, perfect. Oh, shit. If the rat's singing, we gotta shoot him. Singing rats. The singing ones. The ones that sing. Just, he's singing. See him? He's singing. Hit 20 to win. Got this. I got this. See? Here, I hit 20. I hit 21, even. My high school guidance counselor was right. I should have become a mafia hitman. Look! There's the prize! <laughs> As advertised, it's an almost entirely worthless teddy bear refrigerator magnet. Hell yeah! Hey, let's find someone with a metal plate in their skull and redecorate their forehead. That's fucking genius. Oh, Max, you really know how to find the bright side of everything, don't you? <laughs> yes, I do. Now let's go shoot something. I love shooting things. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Oh, okay. What if I gave it to the group? I'd rather keep it to myself. Oh, okay. There's a little red button there. I put it on the bear head. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Okay. I'll, uh, I would keep it to myself, but, okay, excuse me. Meatball sandwich display. The magnet wouldn't look good there. No, go, go away. I don't want it anymore. Teddy Bear's original meatball sandwich. Wow. Looks tasty. The original Teddy Bear made this original meatball sandwich with his own two paws in 1957. Oh boy. The Gross. microorganisms that give Teddy's modern meatballs their distinctive tang are descended from the colony in this sandwich. Oh. Yum. The delicious clown nose. That's a specific. Okay. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as yours. Keep it up and you'll get a shiner too. It was showing me Leonard. Okay. I'll look at Leonard in a minute. I gotta look at more things. Like, I gotta one play the... One-armed bandit. Insert token to play. You see that, Sam? It's a little play on the well-known colloquialism for slot machine. Oh, of course. The fun just never stops at teddy bears. Real. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? You're on fire. Hell yeah. Sweet mother of bleary-eyed gambling addiction. We won. Yeah, we won, but there's no prize. You gotta hand it to Teddy Bear. He really puts the bandit in one-armed bandit. Hold it. What's the password? You may enter. Okay, so the password is what your picture, what your picture. Good, good. Good to know. It's a rubber ducky ashtray. Leave it to oh. the toy mafia to make smoking fun. That is fun. Well, what do we have here? I'd say the circus was in town, but I know for a fact they won't be here till next Friday. So you must Friday. be here to play cards. Depends. Who are we playing? The name's Steak Charmer. Leonard Steak Charmer. And let's just say I didn't rack up 10 million tokens by getting lucky. <laughs> How'd you get them then? By cheating? Look, Rabbit. Leonard Steak Charmer's no cheat. He's, He's not a rabbit. Good. Okay, what's the game, Steak Charmer? He's a lag of Truest test of skill there is. Indian poker. What makes that different from normal poker? How exactly does one play poker of the Indian persuasion? You know you're off to a good start when your opponent doesn't even know how to play. You ever consider well, yeah. that we might be card sharks? Or shark sharks? You know, the kind that eat people for being overconfident? Whatever. Look, it's simple. We both get dealt a card which we put on our forehead without looking at it. So we can see each other's card, but not our own. Pretty sharp, McGruff. Don't call me that. And you make a bet if you think he got the higher card, or fold if you want out. That's it? Yep. And we see who's got the highest card, and then I win, like always. Okay. Well, when you put it like that, we'd be fools not to play.
Okay, cool. Leonard Steak Charmer, huh? I want to know why he like got that Leonard name. I want to know how he got those oh, scars. Yeah? That name, sorry. What do I look like? You look more like a uh, Boris Crinkle. I'll agree with That's that. That's what everyone says. He does kind of look like a Boris Crinkle. So are you a real Indian? Yeah, I'm a wooden Indian. As in, wouldn't bet against me if I was you. Oh. I'll kill him. Not I'll yet. kill him. <laughs> He's got so much hostility and it's really coming out, huh? How do you get anyone to gamble with you? Frankly, you seem shady. I offer great odds, and I possess a certain subtle charm. Huh. I hate to break it to you, but non-existent and subtle are two different things. Maybe huh? charm is a euphemism for gum disease. Look, <laughs> I'm here to play poker. Are we going to get this dog and bunny show on the road or what? Dog and bunny, you are one ugly man. Leonard, you give new meaning to the phrase, a face only a mother could love. My mama said I was beautiful. Uh <laughs> My mama said I was beautiful. <laughs> We'd like to try our hand at a hand of Indian poker. Yeah. You won't regret this, Hound. By which I mean, I won't regret this. Oh, and try any funny stuff with your partner and I'll shoot you both. That seems fair. That, that seems fair. Okay. Got it. Ten. Of I got ten million tokens. Says I got a better card than you. I'm betting it all. Sweet second mortgages on a summer home. We can't match oh, that. Oh, I think I know what Tell we gotta what, do. Tell you what, Poach. I'm feeling so confident. I'll give you ten million to one odds. Just bet one token, and you can win the whole pot. Those are mighty good odds. No, they ain't, Deputy okay. Dog. Because I never lose. Because <laughs> he's cheating. So you in or out? Full. Too rich for my blood. Did someone say blood? What? <laughs> I win again. That one was for you, Mama. Okay. Okay. That's enough for now. My grandma okay. says I'm a handsome boy. Although I could have sworn you I were a dog, not truth. a chicken. A common mistake. <laughs> yeah. So I see what he's doing. He's looking at the clown nose. Can I not shoot it? Let me shoot it. Let me at him. They don't give a shit about my gun. That's awesome. I want to cover it with the teddy bear magnet. The magnet wouldn't look good there. I need to cover it up. Okay. Let's let's do this again. Because I, I need the secret conversation thing to hear what the password is. You're on fire. Cause, We're wasting yeah, because he comes oh, out. What's the best you may enter? So I need the secret, the secret conversation thing, so I can give it to them, so I can hear that. But I need a million dollars, so I think I have to win against Leonard. But I need. That is one shiny nose. Almost as shiny as. Keep it up and. Okay, so I think he's. I think he always tells the truth. I think that's what it is. Is that he says, "Oh, I think I have a better card than you." He does have a better card than me. So I think that's back for a little more. Just a little more. Just a little more. Does, uh, does the does carpet it? match the drapes? No, it's stained with tobacco juice. Squalid yet candid. Yeah. Normally, I like that in a gambler. But for you, we'll make an exception. Let's play again. Deal. All right. Okay, so I had an ace. Oh wait, no, he's always lying. That's what I. Sorry, that's what I meant. So he has a four of hearts. He's looking up at the clown nose right now. Bold. What, no 10 million token bet? Nope. I just always know when I got the lower card. Call it my sixth sense. Or seventh, if you count my sense of humor. <laughs> we don't. Well, we're certainly never getting rich at this rate. Okay. Deal. All right. I'm betting all 10 million, and you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Sure, we'll bet a token. Eh, sorry, Rover. You lose. Okay. Steak Chama wins. Mama was wrong. Gam 
I'd say better luck next time. But yeah, to take a sturdy oaken staff to. Okay, I think Deal. I figured it out because right. he can see his own card. Bold. We'll never get rich. At okay. Deal. All so right. I had the higher card, so he folded. I'm betting all ten. Okay. So you in or out? I'm gonna fold. Fold. I win again. I'm confused. Wait, how does this work? We'll be back. Just remember to bring your money. Okay, so he always folds when he knows he's going to lose, I think. But I can't win if he folds. Let back me... For a li Just a little more. Hmm. That's enough. Okay. A I common don't... mistake. <sighs> I'm a little stupid. That doesn't help this very much. Let's see if we can get in here. Hold it, mugs. That's Not me. mugs. Max! Okay. I don't care if it's Teddy Ruxpin. No <laughs> one gets in without a password. Oh, right. That would be... what again? Why don't you tell me? Does the carpet match the drapes? I don't know. I set fire to the drapes. I love to watch things burn. Okay. Hey, me too! I'm sorry I asked. The password is... Swordfish. Nope. Let us in. Only toy mafia allowed in. Not that there's any mafia here. Okay, we'd like to sign up for the toy mafia, please. Talk to Chuckles. He's the head of mafia admissions. Chuckles. Where's Chuckles? Right behind this door. Oh. This is what it would be like if Catch-22 had a meaner older brother. Look, I don't make the rules. I just blindly enforce them. Naturally. Okay. We'll be I'm back. trying to put the magnet like on his forehead I... so he can't see the card. Oh, okay. That might, that might do something. I'd rather keep it to myself. Nope. He doesn't want it. Um... Okay, what can I do with the Ted E. Bear magnet? Give me some info, I'd Sam. rather keep it to myself. I just gave I'd it to yourself. I'd rather keep it to... Max! What if I give it to the dealer? Because it looks like him. I'd rather keep it to myself. Okay, Max! Give me advice. Max. Is that poker guy psychic or what? It's like he can see his own card. He can't see his own card. I'm sure he just cheats. I would. How do you win when the other guy cheats? Cheat better? Let's wallow in casino magic. I've got a couple of rabbit's feet for luck. <laughs> he does. He definitely does. Whee! No, I wanted to talk to him. Max! Where should we go from here? I don't know. If all the gaudy lights and chicanery weren't distracting me, I'd say go to where we're least wanted. Naturally. You mean that back room with the guard and the restricted access? Actually, I meant the kitchen. But your idea is good, too. Okay. So we have to Let's cheat better. I've got a couple of So we have to cheat better than him. Maybe I can kick him out of his chair or something. It's a rubber ducky. Leave it to the toy mop. Okay. Can I talk to the dealer? Can I tell him anything? Hello there, freaky bearhead wearing card dealer. Hello, I'm Cuddly Bear. Hi, Cuddly Wanna Bear. Wanna play cards? Does the carpet Does match the, the carpet drapes? match the drapes? Wanna play cards? We asked first! Wanna play cards? Oh, okay. Hmm. I do. I do. We'd like to develop a gambling addiction, starting now. Back for a little more public humiliation? Just a little more. Okay. We'll be back. Just remember... Let's play a little more whack whack the rats just for fun. whack the rats Insert to... Let's play it. Just Let's for shits and giggles.
Looks like they're all out of prices. Nice. It's still fun though. It is. It is. Oh, I my high score. Okay, so I have the Teddy Bear Magnet. I know he can see up here. What can I do with this Ted E. Bear Magnet? Oh, it's Moon. That's so cute. Um... The Magnet wouldn't look good there. Okay. I'd rather keep it to my... Okay, we'll just go for now. The magnet wouldn't look... Okay. So, we need to cover up the nose somehow, or like switch places with him, so that I can see my card and he can't see his. I don't know how to do that, though. Also, I just noticed that this is the Museum of Mostly Natural History. Kinda cute. I just went to a museum recently. Whee! I need a million dollars so I can buy the thing, but I can't get the million dollars unless I win the gambling, and I need to win the gambling by... Oh, Hi. By, um... Oh, actually. Alt! Are you trying to deliver something? I am watching you. Can I do something about this? I'd rather keep it to myself. Alt! Uh maybe you can stick this to something. Like the freezer, maybe? Alt! No. Token. Why would I freeze that? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> Microwave. Alt! Are you trying to Oh wait. Can I give him a coin maybe? Will he take that? Hey Bosco. Hi Bosco. Uh We want to buy something. We oui, we oui. Give us that million. million. We'll be back if and when mm. Nothing for us right. Zut. See you later. He's called me child. Less than false means. What can we buy for a handful of game tokens and some pocket lint? More pocket lint? No thanks. What if I give you a teddy bear? Magnet? I'd rather keep it to myself. God damn it. I'd rather keep it to myself. Nah. I'd rather keep it to myself. I did offer it to yourself. Alt. Okay. Mm. I put the coin in the gumball machine. Nah, but I may need them for the casino games. Oh, okay. Whee! 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 I don't know what to do with the teddy bear magnet. The magnet wouldn't look. Stop it! Just go in. Can I give it to Sybil? Does she have any use for it? Have you heard of magnetic therapy? Quackery. Could you use a couple of bucks and tokens? Thanks, but my career's about to take off, so I'll be fine. Okay, good. Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Hmm. Any idea what your first case is? No, but it doesn't really matter. It's a flat fee system. Okay. We'll be back, Sybil. Bye, boys. Keep one up. Whee! Whee! So we need to cheat. But how do we cheat? Where are we going, Sam? I don't know. Let's go back to Teddy, Teddy. Bears. Goody! Goody! Okay, so I think it all needs to be in the casino. Welcome to Teddy. Step right up, kitty. Okay. I know the clown knows is how he sees it, but I don't know how to... 
take his place, I guess. Holyoke, Massachusetts. Try that again, Mug, and we'll fill you with so many holes your little friend will be able to store his straw collection. Could you make them small enough to drain pasta? Because I think I just lost the colander. I'm just gonna put this gun away and make it a point to never do that again. How's that sound? Okay, fair enough. Uh... How do I... How do I cheat with the guy that cheats? That's the thing. Why are you digging in the trash, Max? Back for just a little more. Mm, okay, hold Deal. on. Deal. All right. Bold. We'll never get rich at this rate. Hmm. Deal. Okay. All right. All right, so he's got a ten of clubs. Let's see if I have anything higher. I'm betting all ten million. Okay. And you only got to bet one. So, you in or out? Because if I fold, let me fold. see. If I fold, he wins. I win again. Yeah. That was Geo. So all right. He's gonna fold again this time, I think. Fold. We'll never get rich at this. Okay. That's enough for now. Okay. A common mistake. <sighs> okay, no. So he folded that time. Deal. Let's let's see what happens if he does not fold and we bet. Because I think we lose. I'm betting all ten million. So yeah. Okay, we'll bet and we sure. lose, well, right? Sorry, steak charmer wins. That one was for you. Ah, we'll never win. Yeah, go wallow in self pity for a while. Okay. We'll be back. Just remember to bring. Can I slip him a token? Back maybe? for a little more. Just a little more. That's enough. Okay. A common mistake. <sighs> I don't know why I keep doing that. Um. We need to cover up this fucking clown nose. That is w almost as shiny as you. Keep it up, and you'll get a. Sh we need to cover it up, or get him to move. I don't know, maybe if I pretend to shoot him? You don't have the guts. On the contrary, if anything, we have too many. You don't have the guts. On the con- hmm. If I offer him a token? Nah, I may need them for the casino games. No, what if I offer it to, to Leonard? Back for- Just No. We'll be back. Just. Okay. Well, we need to. Okay, so we need to cover this up somehow. Hi, Levy Bear. Having fun. Is back sitting loud? Yes. You're looking for somebody yes. who works here. Just talk to Ted E. Bear Thank you for in asking. the back room. He knows everyone. Thanks, Levy Bear. Uh, but don't worry. Yes, right now it definitely is allowed. What can be magneted? Okay, so if I shoot him... Found some tutorial. Okay, okay. Uh, before you can use the ice of fades on the shiny cloud nose above the entrance, what you've done that... Huh? 
On to the second use of the tokens, but before you do that, use the ace of spades on the shiny condos above the entrance. So you've done that, talk to the green bear. But I can't get the ace how do I get the how do I get the ace of spades? How do I get it? Because there's some cards here, but I can't pick them up. Buffet closed. Ah. Oh, what? What is it? Buffet closed for a semi-annual food change. Sorry, Max. Aww. Oh. Where do I get the where do I get the the ace of spades? Where do I get an ace of spades? Maybe do I get it from the bandit maybe? Token? Arm? Full? No, cause this just gets the guy out. Hold it. Yeah, that gets the guy out. Black Durettes doesn't give it to me either. And there's- I can't pick up any of the cards or anything around. Well, that didn't help at all, AK! Hello, cuddly bear. Wanna play cu- We're looking for someone- Wanna play cards? Sounds like someone- We wanna play cards. Back for a little more. Just a little more. That's enough for the, now. When this is the okay. one I found makes no oh, sense. Common mistake. Yeah. Uh, okay, so. The disturbing bear heads doesn't give it to me. The dealer doesn't give it to me. What can I do with the Ted E. Bear magnet? Okay, so let's let's pause. Let's think about this. So I can get from Bosco. I can get the little secret recorder, which I need for, excuse me, which I need for this. But to get the million dollars, I need to go with Leonard and I need to win. To win, I need to cover this up or put a card there. How do I get the card? Because the dealer doesn't want my tokens or... Back for a little... Just a little more. We'll be back. Just remember... The, Cause the dealer doesn't want my tokens or my Ted E Bear magnet. I'd rather keep. Cause he keeps saying he'd rather keep it to himself. The magnet wouldn't. And if I'm remembering correctly. The magnet wouldn't. Bosco wouldn't take this. The magnet wouldn't look. The magnet wouldn't look good there. Where all can I put... Where can I even attempt to put the magnet? The magnet wouldn't look good. The magnet wouldn't look good there. I'd rather keep it to my... I can't give it to Leonard. Okay. I... don't know what to do. You think you know? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. In the opening animation, Max throws Ace of Spades in the trash can in the office! You're right! You're completely correct. No, you're right, because we were throwing cards around. You're right. Let's go home. I think that's something that, like, the game expected me to pick up earlier. Like, it, it, I think the game was like, oh, you see him throw it, you pick it up. I did not do that. How ironic! Oh, wait, no, it was right over here. It was right over here. 
Hey, an ace. An extra card up your sleeve never hurts. There it is. Except when the other guy catches you with it and decides to riddle every inch of your body with high-caliber bullets and then dump your mutilated corpse in an empty field. Yeah, except then. They didn't even think about that. They even showed that he had dropped the ace, and I was like, eh, doesn't matter, not important. If there's anything that this game has trouble Where with, are we going, it's, Sam? it's being clear Teddy about things. Goody! And that could very well just be being, it could just be me being stupid, but... Yeah. They, they assume that, like, you will think everything is important, but I was like... But, I, yeah. Welcome to Ted, you know? Because here's the thing. I'm like, okay, I've already seen this intro, like, three different times now. I know nothing in here is going to be that important. And then it's like, actually, you're wrong. Okay, yeah. Put on the clown nose. I did so good. Wow, it sticks. Okay, all right. Let's play again. Back for just a little more. Deal. All right. And then he says, "Yes, I bet." Betting all ten. And I'm so gonna bet. In or out? Sure. Well. Here we go. Uh, sorry, Fido. You lose. The dog wins. What? I you you cheated me. What are you talking about, Leonard? How did we cheat? You pay up, steak charmer. Mama, why weren't you watching over me? I'm ruined. <laughs> so now we've let's got go, Max. Leonard and now his we've dead got mother the 10 need some alone time hours. right now. Yeah, let's go see if we can play whack the rats ten million times in a row without passing out. Stack of tokens. I'd rather save them for something I really want, and that's the okay. Now we can go. Oh my god. Okay. Point and clicks are famous for archaic and generally stupid puzzle solutions. Yep. And you guys know I really like puzzles. I really like stuff like that but no yeah this is just like it wants you to click on everything even if you've seen it 50 times Bonjour. all right please take them i'd rather save them for something i really take want take them bosco we want to buy something we oui, we oui, mon okay by this secret stench of saint gainsbourg these are not american dollar oh, no, no but there are 10 million of them hmm well, the prizes at Dead e Bears can be quite useful. I accept, and in return, I give you Yay! the miniature listening. That's device. a bug. This is a bug. I get it. Precisement. Does this thing really work? Does this thing really work? That answer your question. Now listen up, maggots. I am a bug. Drop me in enemy territory, and I will get all the information oh, you need. You just make sure to pick me up again, and I will repeat every word. Every word! We'll be putting you in some situations that could be a mite precarious. Think you can handle it? I was a Nam, boy! Oh you don't want to know what I've been through. They slaughtered ladybugs. Ladybugs! And that's not all. I've <laughs> seen them kill. Larvae. Larvae! Oh, no. <gasps> so, yeah, I think I can handle it. Now I need some shut eye before the mission. Put me in your pocket. In your pocket. Move, maggot. Sir. Yes, sir. We gotta go now. Holy shit. We've got soldier TF2 turned into a bug. We gotta fucking go, guys. We gotta go. Soldier TF2 is a bug. Where are we go? Teddy. Goody. Goody. Okay. Air conditioned. I just noticed that it's air conditioned. That's nice. Welcome. Ask. Okay. Bug. I can't let think, boy. Oh, 
Nice. Okay. A one-armed bandit. In we got it, y'all. You're on fire. Still no prize. We're wasting our money, Sam. Hold it. What's the password? This is them, Sam. You may enter. Now we gotta get our bug. Go get the bug. Did you get it all? Yeah, I got it. Now listen up. Here's what they said. Hold it. What's the password? That's gotta be, what, a hundred times I've come through that door today, and you still don't recognize me? It's the bear heads, boss. They all look alike. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannolis. You may enter. Now get me in that pocket. Move! Sir, yes, sir. Okay, I know where I'm going now. Give me the... Leave the gun. Leave the gun, take, take the, the cannolis. cannolis. You may enter. We sure did enter. Oh, it's an elevator. This is it? Where's the food? Surely there's a buffet back here. Hey, look. That must be Teddy Bear. Oh, he's so fat. Where do you wise guys think you're going? Who, us? We were just browsing. We frown on that around here. I'm Chuckles, the casino pit boss. I've had my eye on you. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been watching us? Long enough. Do I look long any taller than what? I did ten minutes ago? Your win at poker was, shall we say, creative. Why, whatever are you insinuating? That was nice work. You also somehow got the password to let you into this room. Very clever. Yeah, we're I'm smart impressed. people. The Toy Mafia can use guys who are long on brains and short on scruples. Are you interested? Let me crack my neck. Ow. Okay. I uh, thought this was Mafia Free. What Mafia? Exactly. We're not really joiners. Have you heard the term, offer you can't refuse? <laughs> yeah. This is one of those. Okay. I see. I find it hard to resist any offer whatsoever. It's true. Serial companies love him. One even put his picture on a box. Oh. The fact that you've already got your own animal costume shows great initiative. But before we can accept you into um. the family, there are two jobs I need you to do for us. Okay. Chuckles, bad news. The original meatball sandwich has been stolen. There oh, are three no. jobs I need you to oh. do for us. <laughs> what kind of jobs? Oh, the usual. I want you to lean on somebody, I want you to whack somebody, and I want you to recover a small item that belongs to us. What do you want us to lean Who on? Who do you want us to lean on? A local shopkeeper who's been refusing to stock our products. Take these special teddy bears and make sure he displays them on the sale table in oh, the front of okay. his store. Oh, okay, so Bosco. No problem. Bosco? The store is called Bosco's Inconvenience. Um, no problem. Said... Who do you want us to whack? We're having trouble with a witness who refuses to see things our way. I want okay. you to silence a certain Sybil Pandemic. Silence as in gag her? Gag her with a pistol. <laughs> You well, want us you. to kill Sybil? Make it messy as a message to other potential witnesses. We have her under surveillance, so we'll be watching. We can fake that. Yikes. Yikes. What is it that you want us to recover? It's that rotting old sandwich, right? The original meatball sandwich has great sentimental value to our organization. I want you to track it down before the disrespectful slime bag who stole it manages to fence it to some other lowlife. Sounds detective -y. Kill the thief as you see fit. We'd like to preserve plausible deniability on this one. Okay. I think we've got it. Do these three things, Sam and Max, and you shall be as we are. Verbally overwrought? Members of the Toy Mafia. Oh, right. Does the carpet match the drapes? The drapes? <laughs> well, I'll tell you about the drapes, my friend. Uh, no, that's okay. Maybe I'm his good. hobby is interior decorating, Sam. Let's not chance it. We want to talk to your boss. Nobody talks to Don Teddy Bear, the head of the Toy Mafia. Doesn't he get lonely? Except other members of the Toy Mafia. Okay, we're not oh, there yet. Oh, that'd explain it. We'll be back.
Looks huh. like you can monitor the whole casino floor from there. And a few other places besides. Okay. Or you could watch Mary Tyler Moore. <laughs> Who told you about that? Ooh, I look just like Buddy Holly. <laughs> Whoa, oh, and you're Mary Tyler Moore. Anyways. Where do you think you're back there? No one may approach Don Teddy Bear except for other members of the Toy Mafia. Okay. Do not enter under pain of death. Signed, Don Ted E. Bear. Do you think the mole's back there, Sam? Maybe, but it sounds too sinister to pass up either way. What's behind that door? None of your business. Okay, so we gotta talk to him first. Understood. Okay, so... We gotta listen to the Mafia. We gotta... We gotta do what the Mafia tells us. We gotta... We's got to do that it! That is one shiny no- Okay, so we need to quote-unquote kill Sybil and... We'll do that first. We'll tell her about that. And then we have to put something in Bosco's inconvenience. Howdy, Sybil. No, no, you've got the wrong person. I mean Dame. I mean Dame person. Isn't Dame person that big chin puppet used to scare children? Oh, Sam! Max! Thank goodness it's you. I thought it was someone come to kill me. Yes, well... About that. You seem, understandably, a little tense. Maybe you should switch to decaf. What? Oh, yes. The coffee cup. I'm out of coffee, but I'm so nervous I keep trying to drink it anyway. It's funny how stress can reduce you to just a bundle of mindless reflexes. That's true. Is that what happened to me? Yes. Wouldn't it be wonderful to think so? How's that new profession working out? Oh, Sam. The life of a professional witness isn't all courtroom theatrics and finger pointing. The Toy Mafia told me if I testified against them, they'd rub me out. They tried to buy you off with a Swedish massage? <laughs> no, Max. <laughs> I think they meant murder. So are you going to testify? Unfortunately, I've discovered that I have too many principles not to. What lousy timing. Principles are pesky things. I hear they can be surgically removed now. <laughs> have you considered the possibility of staging your own deaths to throw the toy mafia off the scent? That would be dishonest. It would be a refutation of everything I stand for as a professional witness. Right. Big payoffs, graft, corruption. The truth. Naturally. You're a real antique, you know that? I mean in a good way. I've always liked antiques. Me too. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. <laughs> Ouch. Really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. Can I give you a Have you heard of magnet? magnetic therapy? Oh, no, wait, she says it's quackery. Actually, I'm supposed to take these over to Bosco's. Right. Why do I have a coffee cup now? What? We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only t Ouch! Really? Is she pretending to drink the fucking coffee? Hold on. We're gonna sit here and watch her for a second. She is. Oh my god. What's that you keep doing with your arm? What? Oh, I, I think there was a coffee cup here a minute ago. Yikes! We'll be back. I know- Ouch! Okay. Maybe we can... <sighs> Maybe we can give it to them and say, Oh yeah, see, it's totally broken. What if we give it back to her, actually? No, I want to give her the we'll coffee. Be back. I know you will. Ouch! Rip. Give her the coffee cup. Oh my goodness, thank you! I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. That's never stopped me! <laughs> okay. 
Maybe we put something in the coffee cup. Maybe we put ketchup in the coffee. So she looks like she's dead. I don't know. Okay, let's keep going. We gotta we gotta figure out Bosco's. Hello there. What brings you to this neighborhood, Cuddly Bear? Was it your birthday? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Hey, Bosco. Look outside. It's the Toy Mafia. What? Where? You are right. It is a Toy Mafioso pretending to read the newspaper. And then this you gives me the opportunity, me. doesn't it? Oh, no. The price of paranoia is he. <gasps> what if his Toy Mafia disguise is just a disguise? I gotta see what he's reading. Oh, my God. Okay. And now I can put the teddy bear box here. <sighs> If he's pretending to read local news, he's CIA. If he's pretending to read international, he's CIA. Quick, Sam, while he's distracted. Right, I'll just... Great Coleco's ghost. I'll get it. Thanks, little buddy. Hmm, comics. He may just be Illuminati. When Bosco gets distracted, he really gets distracted. You'd figure out how to disguise murder. Uh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Um, I think what I'm gonna... So, right now we're doing... I'd rather keep it to myself. No, stop it. I want it on the camera. If he's pretending to do the word jumble, he's with the Knights of Malta. Special delivery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, eat pavement camera. Oh, the society pages. <laughs> Must be skull and bones. So now I'm going to put the teddy bear box here. So I figured out one step at the very least. He's pretending to read the gardening section. So it's true. He is Toy Mafia. I hope we don't lose Bosco's friendship over this. No. Me neither. He's my second favorite delusional paranoid. All the versus Aww. Max. We're gonna put it there. Oh no. Oh no. I he's coming in. We're done for. <gasps> I surrender. I surrender. Oh my gosh. Uh, I told you this would happen. I told you he would deliver. And he delivered. Oh God, he delivered. I can't believe that guy. Don't worry, Bosco. We'll help you purge this place of mafia contraband just as soon as we solve this case we're so incredibly busy with. Oh yeah, you're real busy. You've just been loitering around my store all day. Not all day. What can we say? We love to loiter. We do love to loiter. So now we get to be toy mobsters, right? Not yet. Not quite yet. Our journey to the dark side has just begun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sybil's coffee cup and I'm going to fill it up with ketchup. And then she's going to drink it and then she's going to pretend to die. Could I get a grande ketchup macchiato with extra foam? You crack me up, little buddy. Who's joking? Okay. Can I put coffee in there, too? Uh, we don't actually want to kill Sybil. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to make sure. Um, because if hey, she drinks the wait coffee... wait a second. Why didn't b -Taz part do work? Uh, my camera! Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, she's gonna drink it, and then she's gonna, the, cause of the, the ketchup, she's gonna look like she's dead. See, sometimes, sometimes, the answer is so stupid that it's just perfect, and that I get it really quickly, because it's like, oh, that's fucking stupid. And we're just gonna give it back to her. Like, nothing happened. Oh my goodness. Thank That's never stopped me. Okay. Now she's going to drink it and die.
We'll be back. I know you will. Ouch! Excellent. Nice and messy. That worked. That should send a clear message to any other potential rats. I'm reminded of yesterday's dinner on all points. Hey, what happened to the picture? With all due respect, Don, who cares? Now that she's whacked, we don't need to keep watching her, do we? I suppose so. <laughs> Give me a pretzel, Chuckles. These things always make me peckish. You're a real sociopath, Don Bear. I mean that as a compliment, naturally. Naturally. Hey, Sam! Webcam tastes like chicken! Good idea, Chum. Now those toy mafia goons won't see Sybil we just wake got, up. We just which witnessed could be important Max to our continued war. good health. And we've learned that webcams go great with ketchup. Another fun fact to add to the crime-fighting arsenal. Hey, Sam, are we mafiosi yet? No, yes. there's still the matter of oh, the original nope. meatball sandwich. Oh, yeah. Are you sure we can't talk you into faking your own death? I'm sure. Are you sure we can't talk you into... I'm sure. We'll be back. I know you will. Ow! Rip! Okay, well, she's fine. <laughs> that worked. Okay, so now we need to figure out who stole... Who stole the, uh, sandwich. We need to figure that out. I want to check the dumpster. I once hit- I still don't know how she got- Okay, no, that's... Okay, yeah, let's just go into the DeSoto. Let's investigate a little bit Where are we around. going, Sam? No place. Never mind. Oh, hello. Where are we going, Sam? No place. Stop. <laughs> Where are we going, Sam? There we go. Teddy bears. Goody! Goody! I think we're just gonna have to investigate a little around here. We're very good drivers. Welcome to... Uh Let's explore the original a meatballs. I didn't do it. I can't listen. Think, boy. Okay. What if I look at the sandwich display and will he say something? I maybe? didn't do it. Hi, Levy Bear. Having fun? We're looking for some- Just talk to Teddy. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy! Okay, here's what he- Oh, come on. Why did I have to be Lovey Bear? I wish I could be Sparkly Bear. I love sparkles. Okay. Thank you, sir. Pretty fine. Yeah, okay. We like sparkles here, too. We'll put it next to the guard again. We'll see if he knows anything. He hasn't said anything yet. Okay, we'll put him back and then we'll do something. Uh, let's go back over here and touch this. I didn't do it! Okay. I didn't do it! Uh, let's see if he said anything. Okay, he hasn't said anything. If this doesn't work, we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna try that. I can't list Think, boy! Yes, you can, but that's fine. Okay, we... We're gonna go in here. Yeah, we're gonna listen to everybody upstairs. Hey, Max. He really was looking at me, huh? I need some clarification on our mob joining assignments. No problem. 
What was it we were supposed to do about that meatball sandwich? Find the sandwich and bring it back here. Quickly, if possible. The thief will probably try to fence it soon. I think we've got it. Excellent. We'll be back. I'm sure you will. Okay, here's what he said. Everything is going according to plan. Thank you, sir. That's fine, I guess. Nah. 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 I can't list think, boy. I can't list think, boy. Should we just wait for him to try and fence it off? I can't list think, boy. Mm. What is this thing? Mine. Stay away from it. Okay. All right, um, we need to find it sooner or else he's going to try and fence it. Wait, why can I not just look at the cameras? Wait a minute. Does it not give me any information? I can see the poker table. Yep. I can see the one-armed bandit. Yep. What's that office with the fancy carpet? None of your business. The office with the fancy carpet? I'm not seeing that one. Looks like you can monitor the whole casino and a few other places. Or you can watch me. Who told you? I can see the poker table. Yep. Okay, that's it. Oh, the office with the fancy carpet uh, was Sybil's. Okay, um, hmm. So we need. We need to find out about the damn. Hmm. I feel like we have to listen to someone. That dealer guy's gone. Stinky Steiner. Body shop, foreign and maybe domestic is what that says. I don't know. Worst news. Uh, I don't know, man. Bonjour. Hello. Are his feet sticking out of the fucking box? Here, Bosco. We'll take these things. Don't you try to take. But you just said. Don't you do it. They're evidence. Okay, gotcha. Um. I don't spy on Bosco. Sir, yes, sir. Uh. I can't let think. Yes, boy. you can. What do you mean? Actually. Nah. No. Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. Okay. Um. I can't listen. Think, boy. Hmm. That's taking the no littering policy too far. Special. Buy one, get one. What a deal! Mm -hmm. That would hardly be sporting. Ah! Stop it! Watch out! What's that the way? Okay, well. Um. Hmm. Sorry, whenever I hit escape, it's because I'm trying to hit tab and then I forget which button I'm supposed to be pressing. Huh. Dude. Let's go back to Sybil. Maybe she knows something. Maybe she says things. A 
Okay, here's what she said. This is a really nice desk. I wonder how old it is. Thank you, sir. Oh, that's... I don't know. Listen, maggot. Don't bug me till you want to bug somebody else. You got me! A token amount of tokens. I never travel without my trusty firearm. Okay, um... We'll be back. I know Ow, oh, damn it. Been up any titillating scandal mags lately? No. Poughkeepsie. Whoops. Mad chef killer cools heels and stir. Giant plush toy suspected in conspiracy. Poughkeepsie man slays three in asparagus rampage. Mad chef killer cools heels and stir. Giant plush toy suspected in conspiracy. Oh, wait, it actually is. Poughkeepsie man slays three no, in asparagus no. rampage. Mad chef killer cools heels. Hmm. That's a cool It's getting late. Clock. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. He's got a good point. He's got a good point. I mean, he is eating his boogers right now, but he's got a good point. Because, like, when is it early and when is it late? Because you could say, like, 3 a.m. is late, but you could also say it's early because it's, like, it's relative. Because if you're going to sleep at 3, then it's, then it's late. But if you're waking up at 3, it's early. Huh. Anyways. I feel like... I think I've seen that one. Oh, sorry, what? Spin the Bottle Championship is coming up. I like when they do the sudden death round with the Molotov cocktails. Hmm. Feel like taking in some pro wrestling? I think I've seen that one. Okay. We should go to Switzerland sometime, Max. I agree. Nah, they always jip you on the cheese. It's like half air. Hey, it's the Indie Angst Film Festival. Wow. What do they do? Show that second movie over and over again? That's fucking Comic Sans right there. That's incredible. Elf Train. The Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. Hmm. Okay, so... We need to figure out this fucking meatball thing. We need to figure out this gumball thing. No, not gumball. Fucking meatball sandwich thing. Nothing like a gaggle of- I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncom- One dollar lottery tickets. I'm feeling lucky- Hmm... I've already seen all this stuff before. None of this is all new. No, no, no. No, you're seriously fine. This is- this is a game I really don't mind backseating with. Um... As long as you aren't, like... The solution is this. You know, you can you can kind of point me in the right direction. Like, maybe, you know. Like, maybe you could try this. Or maybe it has something to do with this. But, um... No, definitely hints to progress are fine for this game. Puzzle games like this are... Like Rad said earlier, they're... They're very specific. Um... So yes, I will take the hint, but I will take the hint after a quick break. Uh, literally, it's, it's going to be a short break. I just need to go to the bathroom real fast.
Thank you. I was muted. Um, I said, man, I really hope you didn't just sleep to make food. Tell me what you made. You don't have to. Um, and then I said, thank you for welcoming me back. Okay. So. There's one check you forgot to check. One check I forgot to check. Like a person I didn't listen to? One place. Okay. I have a suspicious little feeling. Show yep. me the money. Show me the sandwich. Show me the money. Yeah. You show me the sandwich, I'll show you the money. I will, I tell you. Just show me the money. That's not even a real gun. <laughs> you too? Hi, jerkbag. Trying to fence something hot, Leonard? Like a meatball sandwich, Leonard? A meatball sandwich you stole, Leonard? You two stay back, or I swear by my mother's bedspread I'll shoot you both. That's a weird thing to swear on. Now, let's be reasonable, Leonard. We'll say the three of us got the sandwich back. Maybe the toy mafia will give you a reward. Hmm. Yeah, Leonard. Even though they know you're a cheating jerk bag, I'm sure they'll believe you. Good point, bunny-like thing. No dice, lassie. Oh, should I not have moved my lips when I thought that? <laughs> Just relax, Leonard. 
Can I get you a refreshing beverage? Maybe a pillow? Move and you're a dead dog. Sam, has that flaccid old gambit ever worked? All those years of stewardess school don't disappear overnight, Max. <laughs> school. Okay. Oh. Excuse me, are you by any chance holding us at gunpoint with a harmless cap gun? Once a cheat, always a cheat, eh, Leonard? What? No. Sick him, little buddy. Oh. I thought you'd never sick. Oh. Oh. Didn't oh. think he would say that. Mama. And, uh, okay, Leonard. And are you gonna tell us where cool. the sandwich is? Or are we gonna have to get rough, er? Say rough! Say rough! I'll never talk. There ain't nothing you can do to break me. Nothing. Let's beat the shit Does out your of mother him. know what you've become? Don't you talk about my mama. My mama's a saint. Is she the saint of sterno heated fried food? Because if so, she may have another follower. Hold on, Max. <laughs> I think we've just found our captive's weak spot. Which? His uninspired diction or his laughably bad grammar? Neither. I say we hit this cheat and slime receptacle where it hurts the most. Right in the mother. That's weird. You mean... That's right, Max. It's time to pull out the Yo Mama jokes. Yay! Oh my no, god. No, not that. Anything but that. Uh, Leonard, Yo Mama's shit. so fat. Uh, she's so fat. Oh, curdled goat's milk on a warm summer day. I can never remember the punchlines. That's funny. I remember all the punchlines, but I can never remember the setups. Well then, Max, I, I have think an we'll idea. have to break this two-bit varmint as a team. Follow yeah. my lead. Yeah. Yo mama's so fat. Yo mama's so fat. She's so fat. Oh, my cat is sitting on the desk. Hello, cat. Welcome to desk. She has more folds than origami accordion. She has more folds than an origami accordion. But oh, it's true. It's working. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Here, hold on. Making grown men weep. Go. A fun pastime for the whole family. Yo, mama's so. These are good. These are good. Dude, you're losing hair on my desk. I don't appreciate it. Go ahead. There's nothing fun on this desk anymore. I took it all off. Because someone likes to jump up here and interrupt my streams and sit straight in front of my TV. Or my, not my TV, my monitor so I can't see. Get out of the way. My cat is being stubborn. What? You're going to clean yourself right here, right now. Really. Get going. Thank you. Alright, your mama's so... Thrifty. Your mama's so thrifty. She brings... She brings coupons, coupons to the Penny Arcade! Oh, it hurts! It hurts! Yes, we're definitely making a dent now. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Okay. Your mama's so vulgar. Your mama's so vulgar. Her mouth would make a longshoreman blush. Oh, yeah. Oh, mama, make it stop. We're good at He's this. He's getting closer to breaking. Let's keep it up, little buddy. Yeah. Okay, yo mama's so perky. Yo mama's so perky. So perky? Um... The only time she's low is at a limbo contest. <laughs> stop! Please, stop! I guess that worked. This can all be over if you'll just tell us where the sandwich is. No. Let's hit him no. one more time, Sam. She's so punctual. Yo mama's so punctual. She showed up early for her own funeral. She showed up early for her own funeral. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you where the sandwich is. Just leave my mama alone. Of course, Leonard. We would never do anything to dishonor your dead mother. <laughs> I never even took the sandwich out of the casino. I hid it in the prize slot of the one-armed bandit and then took the one arm so no one could win it. Which brings us to the next question. Where's the arm? I got it right here. Oh. Thanks, jerk bag. How did we jerk not notice bag. that before? I was too busy taking his cap gun to notice that extra arm. We'd best get back to the casino and win back that sandwich. See you around, sucker. 
Wait, aren't you gonna untie me? No. Hello? Guys? Jimmy? Anybody? Can I go back in there and bother him? No, please. I want to go back in there and bully him. Go. Go. I want to bully him. We're back. Hey, aren't you gonna untie me? Maybe later. We're pretty busy right now. Let's bully him. Hey, Leonard. Have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. Nope. Haven't seen it. Hey, Leonard. Do you uh, want to watch TV or anything? No, I'm good, thanks. Hey, Leonard. So how about those Yankees, huh? Yeah, how about that? Hey, Leonard. Hey, I'm just gonna stare into space if that's okay with you. Sure, no problem. Hey, Leonard. You know, you guys can untie me anytime you want. Feel free. Thanks, we will. Hey, Leonard. You know, you guys can untie- Thanks, we will. Okay. Let's yell at Jimmy. Jimmy Two Teeth, fence. It's a sad day when hardworking rodents have to make their living as a freestanding form of enclosure. Uh, I think that's fence in the buys and sells stolen goods sense of the word. <laughs> Beat it! You're getting in way of my customers. What customers? Jimmy Two Teeth. Eat it. I wonder if dude is still in there. Oh, look at that. We got Hypno Bear. This charred pile of scrap serves as a touching reminder of the fun we had at WARP TV. I've determined that whether for food or for sport, I just really enjoy frying things. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Okay, cool. Let's go then. I should turn the light off next time. Okay, well it's in Where the casino. Teddy bear. Goody! Goody! By the way, if my tracking for my face messes up again, it's just because of my bangs. I don't have them tucked back properly anymore. Welcome to what do you Alright, let's go. Let's fix him. Now he's got one arm again. Presto, a nun armed bandit no longer. Token. Bandit. Sandwich. You're on fire. Success. Here's the meatball. Should we taste it to make sure? No. Sweet Tomaine, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. <laughs> Let me see that. Mm. Please don't eat it. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. <laughs> You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. I don't like We're the We're getting eyes. our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. What? Okay. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Neat. Fair enough. My stuff runneth over. There's a small wow. ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through the stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. He's a Holy mole. fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we... I mean, uh, does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot. These guys are freelance police. Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or Ted E. Bears. 
For all we know, the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Probably. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Chase sequence. Sam, I couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Eat lead, yes, coppers. Yes, I saw that. What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. Only modern technology gone horribly, horribly awry. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Say something. Oh, oh wait, forgot we were the ones being chased. Never mind. You're dead. This is not good. Dibbles all witnessing. All but one. Teddy that was himself. ironic. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Let's good do idea. That. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! <laughs> I love him. Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, Do not enter under pain of death. Surely it's cool, though. Sorry, I'm responding to a... Uh message here sorry hold on Uh, some important stuff. Okay, we're good now. It's not important anymore. Alright. You look fucking stupid with that hat on. Get over here. No, no, get over here. Get up, Max, Max, Max. Let me tell you how stupid you look. What do you think we should do? That back door looks rather inviting. Okay, that's it? Okay. He's got a bunch of maps in here, with what looks like truck routes going all over the country. Interesting. But it probably doesn't mean anything. Senators and judges. Bear head. Oh, I don't like it. Were we just having a moment with the bear head? Is that what that was? Hmm. Apparently, Teddy Bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Oh, naturally. Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. Okay. Ooh, minibar. What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? Of course. I can see all kinds of unimportant stuff on these. Okay, let's go in. That's not how I expected that to open. Hey, there's a whole bear-making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! <laughs> you two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these. Oh, okay. I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed. More fool you, then! Or this hypno-bear will make you my willing slaves! Will it? <laughs> You can do the factory work now so that much. you've rid me of my inept underlings. Look! Look at the hypno bear! Do 
whatever teddy bear says. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from him. I asked you a question, slaves. Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? Seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Again? Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend. I command it. This blows. Okay, I'll shoot him. With the cap gun. I obey. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very oh, the pain, the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! Okay, so... Or cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once. Unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince. And may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well... So cold. Why am I so cold? <laughs> yeah? Oh. He's really good at playing dead. That's fucking awesome. Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> I say shit like that all the time. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. Oh, okay. I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be Didn't hypnotized? It. It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. Hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I think it, I've lost so something. many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges using hypnotic suggestions. It's really a toss-up yeah, as sense. to which theory is more implausible. I'll take that one. I wish we could use those hypno bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear and, while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Okay. Stay put. I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! No. Uh -oh. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. Nefarious. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. You're on fire. Thanks. I'm sure I could use this. Anybody got a screw loose? <laughs> I don't know if he was gesturing to him or himself, but this work area may be subject to bombings by rival gangs or raids by the U.S. Treasury. Okay. This is quite a gizmo. I think what I have to do is jam it. Like what happened with Max? Insidious. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. I really don't want to screw that. Oh, wait. I want to know what... Spy on Max. Nah. Okay, fine. Spy on the mole. Okay, I want to know what he says. 
Give me the, give me the rat, not rat, uh, okay, roast here's what he bug. said. Oh, that Garfield and his lasagna! What a character! Thank you, sir. That's great. Okay, um, hi, Max. Where am I going? I, th oh. I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. Oh! Listen to this. I can't listen to that. You're an Wait, idiot. Boy. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? I doubt I could hypnotize that. Well, that didn't do much. Oh, you just think you know it all, don't you, Mary Worth? Excuse me, Master. What is it? You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. I will give... All my money to Teddy Bear. Rats. I'm sorry, I must have dozed off for a minute. What did you want, slave? Never mind. Huh. Okay, hold on. We need to give a new voice to these. I think these are the voice gizmo. He needed to say something else. Max. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Max is immune to hypnosis because of his non-standard cassava. Fair enough. I want to get it stuck in here again. I doubt I could hypnotize that. No, no, just like set it down. Maybe try recording yourself. Nah. Nah. I can't listen to think, boy. I can't think, boy. Mm. I have to, yeah, because I have to re record the. I could record him. I could record the one armed bandit because he says you're on fire. Nah. Poke everything with the screwdriver? Yeah, that's actually my next step. I can't listen. Think, boy. Yeah. Poke everything with the screwdriver. Oh. Oops. You're on fire. I just did that. I totally did that on purpose. You're on fire. Shh. Okay, and now I can put it into here, and then they're gonna start saying you're on fire, and then the fucking thing is gonna be like, I'm on fire, and he's gonna. Okay, so if I put this framel, what's it in this lingle flipper? Fucking perfect. You're on fire. Aw, isn't that cute? Hey, look what I made. You're on fire. Sam, I have to pee. Oops, sorry. Let me see about wrapping things up. <laughs> Sam, I have to pee. I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on. I'm on fire. Help! Help! I'm on fire. I'm on fire. And now, I pull the lever, and he gets fucking stuck. Like Max there goes just nothing. Did. And then he gets stuck and everything fucking breaks. Yeah. Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't 
don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. Come up here, boobs. In fact, look. My cat is back. Um, little help? No. I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Oh, thank you for Who not sitting directly in front of my exclusive? monitor today, bud. I forget which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me. That one, run. Max looks so happy. That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. Surely that's not good. What the hell? This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Uh-oh, guys. Very nice. That's fucking awesome. That was a particularly good one. I thought it was fun. What did, what did everyone else think? Did we like it? Did we like that episode? Um, I'm only going to play the one today because my cat um, needs some food and stuff. And I think I'm going to play a little bit of Dead by Daylight. Which I'm going to start streaming again, probably. Holy shit, Tim Talbot voiced Teddy Bear? That's really funny, actually. Uh, but yeah, my, my cat's hungry, and um, I, I promised my friend I would play with him. So, that was a good one. That was a good one. I'm going to take us over here now. Oh, I feel like this is so bare now. I feel like this screen is just so boring. Oh, hold on. There we go. I still feel so small though. Hold on. Let me Let me get let me get a little larger. There we go. That's a little better, right? Not so small. By the way, thank you for the hip pats. <laughs> I totally forgot to um, say anything about that. Sorry. Anyways, um, let's actually let's see if any of my friends are alive right now. Um. So today, actually, uh, this this month is Disability Pride Month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find one of my disabled streamer friends <laughs> thank you um if none of them are online or none of them are streaming right now um i'll just uh we'll just stream someone random Cause I'm actually not sure if any of these any of these fellows are live. Um maybe. Maybe not. Something something I really hate is I'm I'm on Twitter right now and I'm trying to I'm trying to see if anyone's live right now, and some people just don't have their Twitter listed. 
on their page. It's like, really? Is anyone live? Oh, we have someone live. Are they still live? Twitch. Okay, what are they doing right now? Okay, so we have VR chat. Uh, are we interested in VR chat? If we're not interested in VR chat, we can keep going. We can keep looking. People just don't really tweet when they're live. Probably gonna go to sleep anyways. Okay. Um, I don't even know how many viewers we have. Because the issue is that not everybody gets um, sent over in raids now. Oh my gosh, wait! <gasps> I didn't even see that Kiyu was... Was online. I don't care, we're raiding Kiyu. Uh, Kiyu is one of my best best friends, and... Um, they're actually celebrating... Uh, 10k on Twitter, I think, right now. So actually, we're, we're just gonna... Yes, we're raiding my friend. There's a there's the link as well, because uh, I know not everybody actually gets caught in the raid, but this is my best best friend. <laughs> uh, Ki Kiyu and I have been friends like actually for years, um, and I uh, helped get them into VTubing. So, um, yeah. So right now they're playing. Uh, I'm not sure right now. I'm not sure what they're gonna play, but um, right now. They're here for the 10k Twitter celebration. So, um... Yeah, they're gonna start the stream soon. Uh... Probably within the next couple of minutes. Like, they're on the starting soon screen. So. Just, just be patient. They're gonna start it in a second. Just be patient. Give them a nice surprise. They're, they're in chat right now, so. Anyways, um... Thank you all so much for coming and watching me play Sam and Max. It's a lot of fun. Uh, don't forget to eat. Don't forget to drink. Take your medicine if you need it. And tell your pets that I love them. Happy Disability Pride Month. Alright, and now you all are going to go. And yep, it's all on one line. Because you shouldn't need to share a plan to save a...